much on the farm today guys until I get the snow blown. Got to get the old John Deere tractor out and clear all my workspace because right now we're pretty well paralyzed. But follow me and let's go have some fun on the farm today after this polar vortex arctic blast blizzard of snow paralyzed our farm here right here in Horseshoe Valley, Ontario, Canada. And man, it's a lot of snow. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Very beautiful to look at though. But let's go. Come on. Guys, we're still cleaning up here after this arctic blizzard. At least I got all my driveway cleared, I got the pathways up there, I got all in front of the ducky bunky and in front of the Chateau du Poulet. And I still have a bunch of stuff that I have to do. I gotta dig the geese out because the geese are buried. All the snow fell off the roof and it practically blocked the, the entrance so they're gonna have to climb up a little mountain in order to get out of their hut. <laughs> What a snowstorm that was! Whew! Gonna have to clean out in front of the barn here too. It's like a big mountain of snow over here, all in this area right here. And I mean, the geese are gonna have to climb over that. They got no choice, but I'm gonna shovel a little bit down over there in front of the door so at least they can have access outside and the door's not just gonna get snowed in. They said, you see that guys? They came out for a few steps and then they just went right back in. No, this blizzard ain't for them. <laughs> when it snows like that, it's not much you can really do apart from clear out the snow first. Well, I mean, at least that's what I like to do. Otherwise you're you're stomping your feet to get through and then your feet start to get cold even though you're wearing the boots if you're covered in snow. I like to clear out all the snow first. 
and then go about my business on the farm for the day. couple things I need to figure out about these two rabbits in particular. The rabbits are doing really good by the way. They're pooping tons. I'm not quite sure which one is the male and which one is the female. I see the male mounting the female so I know in that moment that that's the male but I guess I need to find a way to to mark them. How can I keep track of which one is the male? And then on top of that how do I know if the female's pregnant? So I still have a little bit of research to do on that. I guess you just keep the buck in here indefinitely until you're really, really sure that the female's pregnant. Maybe that's the uh, the male peeing all over the place, marking his territory. I've read that rabbits do spray their urine. Yeah, that's why it's stinky in here. It smells like rabbit. <laughs> Waskily rabbit. Look at Maggie and Lovely, <laughs> the barn cats. They're just chilling out in the rabbit's hay. They don't mind. Far guys, I feel like rabbits are really easy to take care of. I feel like chickens need more work than rabbits. Well, once you have your initial setup done, like this isn't the final setup obviously, but I'm gonna try to set it up so that I have as least work as possible. But the, the hardest thing about keeping these rabbits is cleaning up their poop, which you want for the garden anyway, so it's like an added benefit. They don't go through like a lot of food, they don't go through a lot of water. Pretty cool, it's a miracle. The geese are out by the gate today, look. <laughs> They're just hanging out by the gate. Maybe they don't really feel as cold. <laughs> I can see icicles on their feathers. <laughs> Very cool. Is it a Chateau du Poulet or a Chalet du Poulet? Poulet is French for chicken, right? <laughs> Chalet du Poulet? <laughs> anyway, I gotta get them eggs before they freeze. When there's a fresh snow and we get paralyzed like that, I like to clear out the fresh snow right away. Because if you don't, after, after a couple days, the snow gets hard. Right now, it's still fluffy. This is Michael Jackson's run, and I think he got the worst of it. There's so much snow in his run, he cannot even go outside the poor guy. Trouble is, all the wind comes from this direction, eh? So all the snow piles up there, and a little bit on Elvis's run too. Maybe next year what I might do is put up some kind of a tarp or something. Because it's like, oh man, it doesn't help with the frostbite on their combs either.
not only is it good for me to clear out all these work areas, I also like our farm stay guests to be able to walk around. It's not nice if they have to trudge through the deep snow. These frost-free hydrants are a lifesaver. I don't have to walk all over the place. I love it so much. face is getting frozen. I'm not even finished my work yet. I gotta still clear the walkway up to the front of the house. Otherwise the guests have a hard time getting in and out. And then they'll track all that snow inside the house. So it's much better. And I take on that responsibility. What a day. having fun in the snow today. <laughs> about you guys but I'm freezing. I'm just about ready to call it a day. I finished all that I need to finish. The farm is no longer paralyzed from this blizzard. Didn't take much to clear it with a John Deere 3039R. That John Deere tractor. It's easy work of blowing snow. Even the most amount of snow that tractor can handle it. So happy I bought that tractor. What would I do without it? <laughs> Anyways, folks, really do appreciate you coming along with me today. And if you like the video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, would you please? Pound that like for me. Really do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next episode. You guys take care, okay?